good afternoon. I want to hope you are. I work with Tourism Regulatory Authority. I'm in the business of standards, standards uh, in the wider tourism and also specifically in the line of training, that is uh, training institutions. Um, I've been around this for a number of years. I've also found myself uh, sharing classes with uh, a number of uh, us here. I think I saw two or three of them. Uh, in that line, I'm still keen on standards uh, uh, still, particularly the service um, quality standards. I can see one or two of my students here. Um, I was given this area, regulating green, the impact of harmonized uh, star, star rating in East Africa. In respect to this, uh, I, um, I am honored to be one of uh, the four people uh, representing the country in the ESC uh, Council. So when um, our colleague, uh, the lady who made presentations in the morning, um, on ESG issues, I think coming, yeah, I spoke in the morning, I think some of the issues that I need to go into were really touched on. But I think uh, things that were spot on in terms of uh, details of quality that um, affects um, uh, star rating uh, for that matter or classification are what I've had Samantha go through and uh, what Lorraine has ably presented. And I think it gives the direction that uh, we should take if we are going to improve um, tourism in the region and more so the experiences that our visitors go through. Basically, uh, I want to make a very brief presentation, uh, but it should be a lot uh, brief because I have only four areas probably to dwell on, given what I was given to focus on. Uh, and also given what experiences we have as at now when it comes to the impact of uh, star rating. Basically, I'll be looking at uh, where we are coming from for, as a regulator with the term green tourism, and I think that is where the devil is vis-a-vis uh, -vis training. Then some of the principles that are already out there that we require to see happening either through the tools we use in grading or the tools we use to give people levels uh, that uh, define them as meeting certain uh, quality standards. Then basically I'll be just touching a bit on current situation and the obvious notable impacts that we should be looking at. Then some of these things that we should be defining the future like what has ably been presented by Lorraine. Uh, basically, going green, we are looking at it from the context of um, doing what, uh, in terms of environment, looks safe or what traditionally has been looked at as uh, being eco-friendly. Uh, if you look at it from that angle or the angle of the service provider or the organization, that is the company, uh, being seen to be environmentally friendly or you, the user, as a tourist, being environmentally uh, friendly concerns us as regulators and the standards we are supposed to set are supposed to ensure that all angles or all perspectives from that uh, view or context are being taken on board. And to do this, I kept uh, quipping or talking with uh, those with whom we were uh, having a cup of tea or lunch that the business of uh, going green is deeper than what we are seeing um, is still coming out. Deeper in the sense that if you care to interrogate the term sustainability and you unpack it, you'd be going into a number of issues. Keyword here being environment and the term environment, I think we need to look at green tourism uh, from the angle of looking at environment, not to just be the physical environment, but to go into environment in the way we look at it when doing particularly analysis for businesses where you look at the entire PESTEL and I think there is a last E making the acronym to be PESTEL uh, 
Um, so you look at the political, um, which we rarely do much about, then economic, which we uh, more uh, talk about, but not in the context of environment. Then we look at the culture or social cultural environment, which we do very little about, particularly when we look at the three Ps, that is the people profit and uh, people profit and planet. Uh, you find that uh, there is a lot of interest we talk about, particularly on the plan planet side, but we do very little on the other areas. Then if you continue with the pastel, there will be technology there, then there will, there will be the physical environment there, then there will be the legal environment, then there will be the ethos or ethics that we need to pay attention to. And my thinking, uh, which basically most of the presentations do agree with, is in the journey towards being sustainable or being green, we are just starting to scratch the surface and we are at this formative stage uh, seemingly more concerned with are we honoring the physical environment? Things like recycling, things like waste management, th things like safe use of energy, things like, in fact, the least I think uh, the area I was reading to inform this presentation was parading about 37 things that uh, are today very obvious for those who care to look at themselves from the angle of being sustainable. And that, uh, that uh, made me uh, question or uh, want to uh, uh, bring out the whole issue of criteria. A lot of us in most presentations here, we've touched on the area of criteria and we, uh, what we need to go into and probably dig deeper on uh, is what is it that is informing this criteria? Why are we concerned with this item or that or this? Uh, and when we do, what are the standards or what are the key performance indicators defining quality for us while, while, while within a certain criteria? And I think time has come when we must ask ourselves that some of these considerations that we put into the criteria, um, we, we need to interrogate how best they get to define for us green tourism or how best they get to bring out or project uh, sustainable tourism.